All right, so hopefully you can hear me over the wind. Today we're working on a Massey Ferguson 85, uh, but this applies to the 9088. Uh, and we're gonna pull the gas tank off. This is actually not what I'm working on, but I just want to show you what it's supposed to look like. So this is how you remove the gas tank. You gotta take these bolts out here, and then you've gotta go, once you remove those bolts, then you can get to, I don't know if you can see down there or not. Probably not, but there's a bolt back down in here, just a single one that comes out, attach to that steering, and then you can pull that gas tank off. Also, don't forget to shut the gas off. Okay, so this is the one we're actually working on. Uh, this one's sat in the hedgerow, I would guess, 30 years, maybe more. Uh, it hasn't run since. Uh, but this is, as you can see, what this guy did for these ones. But I'm pretty sure these things are supposed to interlock and then that piece of fabric you saw in the other one is supposed to go in between there so that was his quick fix I guess and then maybe you can see down in this one maybe not and there's a bull back there so I'm gonna get this pulled apart get that gas tank off so we can work on the edge a little bit more all right so I was able to get those two off um, you're also going to pull this bolt off that holds your strap on either that side or that side probably would make a difference. I just chose the easier of the two for me. As you can see, that is attached to the gas tank. Doesn't look like there's anything else there. Uh, instructions say to pull this part out first. That way you can access back up in here a little easier. Then I can finally show you what's up in there. So we're gonna try that. Okay, so I'm back. There's a little more to get this tank out. Um, first, you had to remove this whole panel. Take off all these bolts here. And there's a bolt down here and mine had a couple screws you see they're not right there and there uh, looks like they're kind of bolts on this side I'm going to take the one side off and then you also had to remove that bolt right there that one took a lot of work I ended up having to use the Milwaukee a power driver to get that one off and then there's you see down there not there's one right here there's a bolt there and there's one where that wrench is over there on the other side. And you have to get it through the battery box. It's way back up there in the corner. So once you get those off, it's feeling pretty loose now. So I can finally get that gas tank. Well, kind of removed. I still have to get that, that bolt back there out yet. Okay, so I couldn't get the gas tank off. I thought I could just pull it out and get it a little easier. Uh, for me, I ended up having to pull this side panel off. Uh, there it is. I just left the hood on. Break it up. It wasn't too bad. Um, let's see. There are no other bolts. Then I, I, I pulled this part off here. It slides out of, there's a clip right there. It slides out of the front. And then I was able to use my, my power driver. There's 7 sixteenths on it. Get a wrench on the back side. And if you can see, there's a little truck on the other side. There you go. So you can kind of see the hole where that bolt goes through. And it's a, it was a 7 16th, like I said. So, got that out. So now I'm ready to go ahead and remove the gas tank. Before I forget, uh, I already removed the, the gas line. It goes through this hole here. So I took that out and, of course, shut this off. But I don't think there's much gas in here opening at all at this point in time. So, okay, so gas tank has been removed, as you can see. This is what it looks like now. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of a chunk of tire rubber there to kind of protect it from the engine. Uh, these don't have to come all the way out, by the way. They slide, so you could actually leave those in there and then slide it back in place. Uh, other thing, I also had to hold on to the uh, shaft on this end because it was staying on and then just sliding through the hole of the gas tank. So I had to pick up here and hold the gas shift and then slide it that way. And then once that was out, it came out pretty easily. So. Now I can finally get to what I want to get to. Hope you find this video helpful.